Guy, Christine's, and uh, you're all here, Eddie. Thank you uh, for coming. Hello, Ashley. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Louise and Beth and Kim T. Mod salute. Hello, Beth. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying, Beth. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to address that in a minute. I, I, it, it's, it's a really. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll come, we'll come to his own uh, conclusion about it. But I, I, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to give it any breathing space because they simply are not worth it, these people. Uh, so I don't want it to spoil what I've got lined up for you today, guys, because uh, we've got a bumper uh, episode to show. Uh, hello, Kenny Darling. Nice of you to join me. Hello, Pat. Hello, Rebel. Hello, Christina. Sorry. Hello, Susie and Pamela and Jane and Becky and Essie. Hello, Mia, darling. Hello, Pickle and Heather and Victoria. And Gary, uh, Gaza, hi Cheshire and Anne Holland, uh, Victoria, thanks everybody for coming. Hello Shannon Darling, MB, hope you are okay too. Let's see who else, hello Donna, uh, Christine. Yeah, it's no worries, Christine. I don't, I don't mind that. Uh, you know, uh, if you're late, you're late. It's one of those things. Uh, I, I really don't mind, honey. It was a good stream that you had. The bit I caught of it. I'll watch you back tomorrow. Hello, Melinda. Hi, Nana Mo. Happy to be in the house of love. Yes, thank you, Nana. Hi, Becky. Hi, Nika. And Louise. Gosh, I can't keep up. Hang on. We're fifty-two in already. Um, hello everybody, if I've missed anybody I do apologise, if you want me to uh, say it out loud I'm happy to do that uh, Hi Shara You alright my darling Nice of you to join us <laughs> Yes, hello all you sexy beasts <laughs> No, it's not a problem Becky at all It's not a problem so, uh, yeah, um, what's happened today, guys, is uh, I woke up this morning and uh, I woke up to a sister-in-law, Anne says, hiya, Dev. Hello, sister-in-law, Anne. Uh, nice of you to uh, join our stream. Uh, thanks for the Bombay mix. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Wendy. Lovely of you to join us. So, yeah, guys, I woke up this morning uh, to a barrage of messages to tell me that uh, I was being streamed over today. <coughs> Excuse me. But I um, I can't believe how lucky I was, guys, uh, because Huddersfield Town today, uh, I've told you about before, they're a Premier League uh, football team, soccer team for you guys in the US. They were playing, uh, hello, Bridget, they were playing Manchester United today, uh, and it was live on TV. And um, so I didn't have to be asked twice about changing till uh, nine o'clock tonight. So uh, it's worked out. It's worked out really well for me, despite what the intention was at the other end uh, of streaming all over me. So yeah, guys, it's uh, it's it's worked out really well for me. Um, today uh, we've got lots planned. Um, I've got a lot to show you. Uh, some more sample packets have come in. I've got a few good books to show you. Hello, Amy. Was a silver lining, Christine, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I was a bit sad about having to miss the match, to be fair. And it was a good result, uh, Gary. Yes, it was. Um, but obviously, uh, as soon as I was uh, alerted to the fact that I was, uh, you know, going to be in a stream with someone else, I uh, I jumped at the chance. What? What? Can, can somebody remove this person that is just deliberately trying to cause trouble, please? Uh I don't want to on my stream. Thank you, uh, Shannon. Thank you. Uh, no intentions there. Family matters, I'm sorry, but this is out of hand. Uh, what do you mean, uh, Susie? Uh, all, all I've done is just come on at a later time. Uh, I'm, I'm not bothered about what time it was today. Um, I just uh, obviously took the opportunity to watch the football and, um, and yeah, it worked out well for me. So, anyway, I, enough about that, guys. I don't really want to um, 
I don't want to talk about this just uh, all the time. So uh, the first thing I want to show you is uh, this uh, depiction by Herb Leonard. Um, and it seems that this has actually um, been sent to me. I I'm not sure who sent it. So I really do want to um, thank the person that sent it. Uh, this is actually the uh, the Orc King. Uh, it's not the Green Man, this one. It's the Orc King. And um, what I uh, thought about it was, uh, I immediately thought it was the Green Man, obviously. Um, hello, Michelle. Oh, that's great, Kim. Excellent. I don't even know what I'm supposed to have done wrong, uh, Christine. All I've done is uh, found out that I was being streamed over today. And then I, I contacted Susie to see if she was going on. And she was having problems going on. So I've, I've given her the first hour of my a lot of time anyway. <clears throat> and then unfortunately for Susie, she's had a lot of problems. Uh, and then obviously it, it, it sort of... Uh, dawned on me that nine o'clock would be free and that I could watch the football so that's what I've done uh and it's worked out really well so yeah uh this has come and um I thought that this particular uh was um green man to start with but it's actually not green man it's uh, the oak king so what I've done here is uh left it in its cellophane uh, I really do like it. I like it as much as the green one, uh, but I'm going to use it and put it on the back wall when I uh, when I put all the other stuff on. Oh, it was from Sean, was it? Oh, bless him. Oh, thank you, Nana. I hope he joins us later, and I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to thank him. <laughs> Man, yeah, I think that's what it is, Pickle. I, I know. Hey, it's Nick. You all right, buddy? Um, I'm not sure if it was actually the uh, Green Man at first until I had to look it up, actually, Pickle. There's uh, there's a couple of pictures in the back of one of his book because I think the Green Man's got a green face. Not 100% sure. Okay, guys, so I just want to show you that and thank, obviously, Sean now. Thank you. <coughs> okay, guys, uh, the next thing I want to show you, uh, I briefly showed it on Tuesday when I did the... Uh, the review uh, of um, the Colour Morphia book. And um, hello, Sky. And this is the Sketchy Stories book. Um, and the Sketchy Stories book is uh, an, a sketchbook artwork of Kirby Rosans, and it starts from the beginning of his career. Um, now, the reason why I'm showing it today is because I think it can be converted into a colouring book. Um, there are enough images in here, like this one, when he first started with the doodles. Uh, hello, Ashley. Wow, 86 in, guys. Thank you for that. Um, and there's another page of doodles here. What, what I thought, um, especially with me going camping shortly, uh, I could take this with me and use, uh, you only need to take a small set of pencils with this. Uh, providing the pencils blend well, uh, I think you're on to a winner. You've got all these uh, lovely images by Kirby. Uh, and I know it's not meant to be a colouring book, but that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm going to be using it for. So um, we have all these images in here. The wood horse. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention, hello, Michelle. Oh, yes, I forgot to do that. I always forget that, Christine. Thank you. Hiya, Sean. Thanks so much for that picture, mate. I've just shown it. You're such a darling. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Thank you, Anita. Lovely of you to join us. Um, where are my camera controls now? Take that auto focus off. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I showed it, mate. It's absolutely wonderful. So as we go on through the books, you can see 
uh, that he's getting the ideas from the Morpheus stuff. We're not going to go massively into that because we, we talked about that on Tuesday. <clears throat> but it's perfect, I think. It's a well it's a well uh, constructed book. It's hardback and it's it's really small. So I really do think it's perfect to take on holiday. Um, when I go camping, I'll certainly be taking this with me. Uh, and you can just do some pencil doodles in there. It won't take uh, an eternity either. The other thing I want to mention to you guys is I spoke to Celine. She's not going to be on this evening, so I haven't got a rush of coming off. And also, uh, I've managed to get an affiliation with the US Amazon. So I, for every product that I link now, there will be a UK link and uh, a US link or USA link. Uh, I can believe you, me, it takes a long time to do them all, but I think it's worth it so that everybody gets a fair crack at the whip if they, uh, you know, if they want to buy the product. So they should be on there from tonight's stream onwards, guys. So that's sketchy stories. Hi, Cindy. See it all about you, Dev. You are Anne. Sorry, I didn't understand that, but thank you. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Tracy. Yeah, I I, I, um, I applied for Christine, and they said it would take 28 days, I think they said. And then day after, ridiculously, they sent me an email saying that it was acceptable. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm not really sure why it said that in the beginning. I don't know if they have to check stuff or what. <laughs> but that's that's uh, that's what I've got now. So at least you know if there's something out there that people want, they can click on that. I, I haven't I haven't got um, my completed pictures for April going up. I won't be doing one of those, Anita. I think I've only done two, maybe three. Uh, so there's not enough to make a video with it anyway, Anita. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll just show them on stream. I, I I don't know. I don't know, Donna. I think they check your. It's something to do with tax, isn't it, Christine? I know I had to give my uh, my national insurance number. I I don't know what they call it in the states. Is it a tin or a tan, a tin or something like that? Tax identification number or something like that. I had to give my English one or UK one. Uh, so I'm not sure how they how they actually work it out, Donna. I'm not really sure at all, honey. Uh, so yeah. Okay, guys. Um, the next thing is the uh, the Thomas Kincaid uh, Disney Princess coloring book. It's 16 ready to frame coloring pages. Now I was absolutely staggered at the size of this. I did not expect it. Um, being this big. Because uh, the last one, if I remember rightly, the the one that had the you know the the same image on the left. Uh, yes, you have to provide tax numbers and such when you sign up. Yeah, it's somewhat like that, Christine. So I just got mine off my my end of tax year uh, P60 thing, and just sent that number off, and it was accepted. So I don't know if that's I don't know I don't know if that's the delay or what that they have to check stuff. So. So yeah, I, I was shocked when this came. Uh, I've not seen any reviews of it, so I know there has been reviews on 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 um, on YouTube. <laughs> but what I've not done is is actually see um, see the, the the size of it. I've not realised how big it is, and it's 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 probably. Well, I can give you the dimensions if you just bear with me. I'll uh, I'll just get a ruler if I can find it. Uh. Right, so where are you? Never mind. But anyway, it's 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 a big book. Yeah, I agree, and 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 I I really do thank you all for your support. Do you have time to show my pictures today? I showed them on the last stream, Anita. So no, I don't have time today, unfortunately. I've only done the. In this month, I've only done the the butterfly one, um, the one in um, uh, the Seringale book. That's two, and then I've almost completed um, Becky's Colour Along Butterfly. So that's three. So it's not really worth uh, showing those, but I can show you the uh, the butterfly and the. Um, 
a Leslie Smithering Gale if you really want to see it that much. <laughs> okay, so as, as it opens up, it's kind of a, a, a ready to frame poster book. And um, if this one falls in the suit with the last one, no, it doesn't seem to unless they're in the back. Or oh, they're in the back, guys. So it, last time it gave you a, a, a reference to, yeah, thanks, Donna. They give you a reference last time. Um, so, of course, that's the cover. Um, and then that's the cover again, which is titled Snow White Dancing in the Sunlight. It's nice, Becky. I can't believe how big it is, though. Uh, I was really shocked. Um, you know, when, hello, Lillian. Nice of you to join us. Uh, I was shocked myself when I saw the amount of uh, size of the, of the book. Uh, the, the illustrations are really small, uh, you, as you can see. The paper's really good, though. It's one-sided, and it's rather um, a smooth kind of uh, a smooth kind of twill. Yeah, I thought that, Becky. They are really small, um, to say that the, the book's that big. Uh, they're, they're quite consistent with the last book, aren't they? You know, small doodles. Um, so that was... Um, that was that one. I was really shocked about that. Um, but it does look a really nice book. Hello, Barbara. And, and of course, in the back, we have uh, postcard-sized um, images of the ones that you'll be colouring. So there's plenty of inspiration, again, like there was in the other book. Um, and, um, and then we move on. We've got Cinderella, Pocahontas, Tangled, Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, The Princess and the Frog. Beauty and the Beast. So all in all, a really good and nice surprise of a book, really. Um, so that's that. Um, while I'm here, let me just see if I can find this butterfly from Imagimorphia and this other image that I did. They're not quite finished yet, Anita. Um, <laughs> but the one I did, uh, first of all, using, um, I was using these, these cranes here. Uh, which are the the cheap Crayola uh, skin tones. And I just cut the packet up that they came in because uh, it's non-porous. Just added a bit of water. Uh, and it was difficult to move it around a bit. Uh, but I thought that um, once, once you know, I got the brush down and then some pencil on top, it didn't come out too bad, but it's not, obviously it's nothing like my best work. But that's that was done with the, uh, the Crayola skin tones and the um uh which pencils did i use on top that will have been um the coin or pencils on top uh so yeah it's it's um it's done with the um uh the crayola uh, i'll just get them out so you can see them uh they are like water-based markers but they brought a, a pack out i saw it on zoe archer's channel and um these were, uh, I think, a pack of six. Oh, no, eight, actually. I do apologize. And they are in various uh, tones of browns and beiges and pinks. And they're just called uh, multi multicultural markers, they're called. So, like I said, I just used a bit of plastic and a bit of water and uh, did, did this one with that. Uh, and then... And then the other... Uh, just bear with me. It didn't come out too bad, pickle, did it? Uh, I mean, it, what I did find with the Crayola, um, once you'd added water to it and you tried to spread it, it spreaded for the initial kind of uh, connection moment. Um, okay, back, Dev. Sorry you kept saying it's herb, but sorry to disappoint you. What, what's herb, mate? You mean the picture? Is it Anne Stokes? Yeah, because it's the Oak King, isn't it? It looks really much like um, Herb's Oak King. Yeah, the Oak King. Yeah, it's lovely, mate. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you saw my um, Millennium Falcon. It's only about about that big. Uh, I'm going to put that above it, and then the the Star Wars logo underneath it. So it looks it'll look pretty decent. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, pickle. Once you started spreading it about, and you got to the the initial bit that went down, then it started to pull a little tiny bit. So, uh, <laughs> Sean. <laughs> oh, dear. 
so that was that one uh anita and then uh for color uh for last month in april i did this butterfly um i still need to uh, i still need to do uh, a background on this I, I initially my plan was to do a blue background but i think i'm going to change that um I, i'm still still trying to work out which way i want to go with the background um but as as for colored images um that that's all i've done for april uh, i don't know if you know anita but I, I work sort of five six days a week so i ain't got time to color much thank you uh, melinda um all right guys the next book i'd like to show you again both links are in the um thank you christine uh, both links are in the description for the US and England and the UK, should I say. Um, this is Twilight Garden by Maria Troll, uh, but it's the artist edition and it's currently on a massive sale. Uh, obviously, it's not as big as the book. There's just 20 images in here to pull out and frame. Uh, but I, I got a really good deal on it. And the, as you, I mean, that is proper cardstock. Uh, the UK at the moment, I think it's about seven pounds, uh, which is nothing for a, for a book of this quality. Um, it's got 20 images in it, like I say, that you can pull out and frame if you uh, want to give them as gifts. And then, of course, you've got this uh, couple of black backgrounds. Uh, you've got this one here, which is uh, a lot of variants of different plants and flowers. Uh, it's a really nice book. Um, and then you've got this coloured image in the middle, which can also be pulled out. And we've got some more flowers here. And then we've got another one with a black background, another one with a black background. Then we have A to Z in flowers, which I think is a really good one. Uh, you could do a lot with colours with that one, especially. Um, yeah, I agree, Christine, yeah. Uh, I, I also agree with you, Beth, as well, yeah. It's, you want me to say quality paper? <laughs> Are you taking me out of me, Sean? <laughs> <coughs> Thanks, Shara. And then you've got these uh, these plants here, and then another kind of inspiration or picture if you want it. Some more plants here. And then another one here, another one here. There seems to be more than 20, but that's what it says on the book front. Um, and there we go, guys. You can also colour the inside cover of these, which which is uh, an added bonus. I know a lot of people like to, to colour the covers in. Uh, this is a really nice book. Uh, it is available on both Amazons. And, um, yeah, treat yourself, guys. It's lovely. So that's that one. Um the next one I'm pretty excited about is, is a book called Lock and Key. Uh, this one was gifted to me um, by uh, Anon. And uh, it's, an, it's an adult colouring book. Oops, sorry, guys. It's uh, an adult colouring book. Sorry about that. There we go. It's uh, an adult colouring book by Gabriel Rodriguez. Um, and it's it's... It says Shades of Terror at the front, but it, it's it's a very very kind of uh, different and unique book. It's very, very good paper. Uh, and then you've got, like, the story that runs alongside it, but the images are breathtaking. I mean, if you look at that one there, uh, on this kind of paper, because it's really thick, and obviously it's, it's one-sided as well, uh, and then, of course, you've got the small iconic uh, image on the other page uh, that you can colour in as well. Um, I think you'd have to be really familiar with the story of Shades of Terror, but Lock and Key uh, is basically just uh, an imagination that's been unlocked and and various uh, Im images and ideas have come out of uh, Mr. Rodriguez's brain by doing that. Uh, this one's a fantastic image, as you can see. Uh, it was, yeah. <laughs> I was looking forward to showing it, Pickle. <laughs> so um, that's a really good one. 
with the T-Rex and the fairground and these kind of, I don't know if these are giants and these are midgets or the other way around. Um, either way, uh, these are absolutely fantastic little Im illustrations that you can colour. Uh, I'm really, really excited about this book. I think it's uh, a winner from day one. Um, like I see, you've got you've got both. Uh, we've got both sides here that can be brought into the equation. And then you've got these kind of exciting, mysterious images here, where they're finding kind of clues uh, to, you know, to find the meaning of the story without sort of spoiling it. But of course, there's a key here. There's a keyhole in the floor. Uh, it doesn't take a, uh, you know, it doesn't take a, a rocket scientist to work out what they're going to do with that. Uh, then you've got some like really nice Yorkshire, Yorkshire scenery here in the background with all the uh, the hills and the moors. And then you've got here, which looks like uh, Supergirl, uh, and then the two kids. Uh, I know Sean likes this particular image. Um, it's one of those images that, you know, I think Sean mentioned to me earlier that this reminded him of Tank Girl, uh, and I can see where it's coming from. Um, it's, it's very, very similar. Um, then you have these really superb images here. I, I can't tell you how much I like this book. Um, you've got this ice hockey player here who's, who's a brute, to say the least. Um, so, and then you've actually got part of the story is that they find this comic. So they've 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 kind of uh, shown the comic cover front on on the on, as one of the images. So I think that's really cool as well. Uh, the, the the comic that they're talking about is actually uh, coloured illustrated as well. Um, Oh, thank you, Sean. Sean's gone and bought me Tank Girl as well. I really appreciate that, mate. I, I Thank you, mate. Uh, we both kind of like the same stuff, don't we? So thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to announce that very soon, Anita. Actually, I'm glad you've, uh, you've mentioned it because I totally forgot, if I'm honest with you. Uh, as it says on the beginning of uh, the stream, um, my hashtag for me is is hot mail uh with the may emphasized obviously so it's hot mail like that so it's h-o-t and then m-a-y for may and then l-e hot mail so all i'm uh going to be requiring for that stream is anything hot so uh, from dragons to volcanoes to fire to flames to guns, uh, anything that shows a flame or an explosion, uh, you can even uh, stretch it as far as, a, you know, if you know, um, if you know somebody who eats chilies in a book and, and that's hot. Uh, it's just all about being hot in May. Um, <laughs> no, no. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <laughs> um it's uh so yeah I, i've got a couple of dragon books to show you uh in respect of the stream uh which i think christine will like and um <laughs> you just want it's not to do that, sean but please don't start these rumors off you know what will happen <laughs> no it's anything hot guys anything with flames or steam or anything like that and because hotmail is already a uh, uh uh, you know, an email address. It's quite a well-known name. I thought I'd just play with the words on that, I d but I did walk into it, Michelle. <laughs> oh, guys, I've got a hundred in the house. Uh, that is uh, really, really cool uh, to say that I won't come in on uh, today at this time. So thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. Make that hundred. Um, so this book, just to carry on with it, guys, briefly. Uh, sorry about that, and thank you, Anita, for reminding me about that. Um, so anything hot, guys? Any, any, any? Uh, that for everyone? Or yeah, everybody, Anita, with that hashtag, uh, I can be contacted on my Facebook group with that hashtag, or I can be contacted on uh, Instagram with that hashtag, 
or just tagged in it or which which you know whichever qualifies and yes a hot mama does qualify rebel <laughs> um so anything hot anita yeah and you'll see in a minute why i think i've got two books or maybe three i've got two and one gifted that that kind of falls into line with uh, with hotness this is an absolutely fantastic image guys it's really iconic uh, very kind of uh, Battle of Waterloo-ish, Napoleon-ish. You've got all these uh, really poorly people probably suffering with the plague. You've got people getting hung. Uh, you've got almost uh, Napoleon himself here. And then you've got the gallows and this really, really haunted house in the background. I just think it's such a unique collection of images to put in one picture. Yeah, I like it, Becky. It's lovely. And paper... Uh, is is really thick it's kind of smooth but it's it's also uh quite thick uh but like i said okay i have left a link for the us as well so you know if you want to have a look at it then by all means do um, and then this one uh it kind of reminds me of game of thrones you know the guy who who um who made the swords in the first couple of um yeah 102 christine that's brilliant it's uh it might pass so just bear with us please yeah i'm, I'm just it to come back oh has it come back oh thank you nana yeah that soon dropped <laughs> it went down from 100 to 61. anyway so yeah, guys, uh, that that is uh, I can safely say uh, it's made by IDW Books, who I've bought books from them before. The quality is sensational, and I can't hesitate to uh, recommend that book. It is really, really good. It's a bit different, um, and it's something that you can get your teeth stuck into. Uh, you know, kind of as as a one-off. Uh, you know, rather than be stuck with. Uh, the same kind of stuff over and over again like portraits all that kind of thing so with uh hotmail in mind guys i bought two books and um and i had a book gifted i know that shara and thank you for your uh words of support and encouragement So the first one I got was World of Dragons, and it, it's um, it's it's a, a very uh, reasonably priced book. It's it's a it's a Dover colouring book, but don't let that put you off. Um, uh, the, this this Dover colouring book is about dragons, obviously, but I, I like this kind of art, and um, and obviously it fits in with the hotmail kind of thing. But what it does do in this book. Um, it chronologically lists all the different kind of dragons and mythical creatures with a little bit about them, you know, in as a as a as an explanation. So of course you've got the standard dragon here, and then going on to images two and three, we have the Chinese dragon on this side, um, and then we have uh, the the Japanese dragon, which is called a Ryu. Uh, the guys who have ever played Street Fighter will know about that. Um, and then as we move on to four and five, we've got the Vietnamese dragon, which is called a Rong or a Long. Um, that's very similar to the Chinese one, actually. But as I'm sure you'll agree with me that this kind of uh, line art is is quite good, uh, you know, to, to get you to, to, to relax because you're not you're not worried about going over the lines. You're not worried about um, you know color schemes and that kind of thing it's it's a, a budget book for a, for a nice relaxing day and i think they are as well sean I, I don't mind um i don't mind dover books at all or the um creative haven ones uh i don't i don't mind them at all uh and then we've got uh barong which is a lion-like creature here and then we have uh something called antaboga which almost looks like a Viking ship, uh, but it's it's kind of shaped with a serpent with wings. Um, going on here now, but she can 
We'll, we'll have none of this on my stream, please, guys. I, I, I don't condone it. I don't, I don't really want anybody falling out, please. My friends, the, the people that I don't get on with are not on here. So I love you all that are on here. So let's please just all get on very nicely. Um, and don't make it an issue on this stream, please. I've already got rid of one that was intent on causing trouble tonight. Let's just leave it at that. So um, this is the Rainbow Serpent, and is the back an hour. Uh, and then you the Drachum, sorry, the Drachum of Thebes, which is a Greek, uh, a Greek myth kind of dragon. Uh, and then you've got uh, the Lernian Hydra, which is a Greek uh, dragon. The last one was a Greek dragon as well. I'm wondering what the difference is here. Ah, oh, that's okay. One's from the water. This is serpent-based. And what other ones are land kind of, or uh, even a winged animal. But this is a, a water-based one with it being Hydra. I'm sorry, Gemma. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Becky. Um, and this one is, um, I just got it, guys, obviously with the fire thing, I uh, sorry, the hot thing in mind. And obviously the one of the most synonymous things that we associate with hotness is the fire breathing dragon. So I, I thought if people wanted to buy this book and, and do a colour along, then, you know, they're more than welcome and it won't sort of break the bank, really. Uh, actually, it is actually, apart from it being double-sided, it is actually a really good quality book. The paper's nice. Um, uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with with the with the purchase. And we, I can't move on without leaving uh, our, our own country. Uh, we've got the Beowulf dragon, which is the Anglo-Saxon one here. Then if you go into Wales, I'm not going to pronounce that because it's in proper Welsh. Uh, I can't speak Welsh at all. But that's the Welsh dragon, which is on most of their sports flags and, and even their uh, their Patriot flag. And then we have a couple of images here uh, in relation to tracking a dragon. So the guys that were able to fight them. And then the final page, we have our beauty here. We have St. George, uh, the English dragon, uh, and St. George himself uh, spearheading that dragon. And then you've got uh, the French one, which is called a Tarasque. Uh, that's a legendary uh, dragon from southern France. Doesn't look like a dragon to me, really. It looks more like an armadillo. But um, it's got web feet, and uh, it's kind of got like a scaly back like an armadillo, but you never know. So... Um, Well, it's really nice of you to join us, uh, Vera. Um, you're more than welcome here anytime. Uh, so, yeah, please, you know, come again. And uh, Becky's right. Come out of your shell and, uh, you know, just join in with everybody. This, the final image is an Amaru, uh, which is a llama's head, a fox's mouth, the wings of a condor, which I think is a bit like a vulture, isn't it? and um the body of a snake with a fish tail <laughs> so that is a, a very potpourri kind of uh, dragon or beast or animal it's got the well it's got all the animals i've mentioned and that is that is predominantly from peru in south america so that was uh, a a cheap and cheerful book but it, it, it's very nice and um i'm glad that i got it obviously i you know it um it kind of gives you all the basics of basic dragons and the the images are, are quite quite you know they're, they're not too advanced but then again they're not they're not um childish either so you could have some fun with these i'm sure uh so yeah that's that's that book and then the next one i got uh sorry the next one i got in part of this series was gifted uh by Nana, Nana Mo, who's in the stream at the moment. Uh, this is Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I've had this on my wish list forever. Uh, it's always kept, keeps getting sold out. Uh, I was after it when I got the uh, the Dark Crystal. 
because they kind of we're all in the same uh, recommendation uh, strip thing. Uh, this is Adventures Outlined, and thank you, Christine. And again, this is a, a you know this is a beautiful book. It's single sided. Uh, this particular PC is called the Minotaur's Maze. So we all know what a Minotaur is. Um, and then we've got the various other stuff. Uh, something's fishy in this one. Um, we've got Noll Bashing. We've got uh, Gibbering Mess. Ambushed in the Caves, caves of Kubla, which <laughs> this guy's got a... Uh, my underpants on pickle i'm not sure that uh okay uh christina thank you yeah i'll go with whatever image you pick love i've i've been uh this is my first day off uh in the last kind of 12 days really i had half a day last week and that was it so <clears throat> excuse me so that is uh the kubla uh with sporting some very uh feathery briefs here uh so I'm sure that uh, we don't want to be tickling him in that area. Thank you, uh, Christine. Oh man, a stuffed raccoon chandelier. That's best you team out for that one. Uh, Captain Kubla, yes. <laughs> Pickle, you do make me laugh. Um, so this is the battle at Frostbite Ridge. Uh, it's kind of almost a, a Viking kind of scene, isn't it? Um, Nordic with the uh, plaited beard and what have you. Uh, so again, this is another good book. This is a lot more whimsical than the the Dover colour book, but this is far better quality, of course. Uh, so yeah, we've got all these kind of. Uh, creatures in it uh if you watch dungeons and dragons or play the game you'll know most of the characters in this um so that's that one guys um and then the other one is called uh equinox oh no i won't show that one next i'll show these two i'll just be quick with these two guys because they're from the same publisher which is red skull uh, they're very, very uh, cost-effective, but again, I've just got on for the the, uh, the hashtag. There's plenty of beasts. I mean, that fair is really nice. Uh, they are single-sided, but there's plenty of beasts in here, as you can see, uh, which would uh, pertain to Eve, fire, or that kind of thing. So any of these would do. I mean, that one's actually got the fire, for instance. Um yeah, I'm going to show that sky. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in love with it. It's a beautiful book. I'm not too keen on this kind of line art that, that that's uh, a bit kind of plain. Uh, I mean, you can do backgrounds in it, but uh, I much prefer the the bigger images. Um, you know, you've got some really dark, some really light. You've got all sorts of different ones in here. You've got a test color page there, and then at the back you've got the Minotaur again, uh, unicorn. Uh, a couple of lions. So all in all, guys, you know, for a fiver, it's one of those kind of books that you might only find, I don't know, five, six, maybe seven images in it that you like. But who cares for that kind of, I mean, that one's beautiful. Uh, you know, you can get your markers on that one. So, yeah, that's, that's the Mythical Creatures one. Uh, again, the link is in the description. This one... It's a bit thinner than the other one. This is Magic World and Amazing Mythical Animals that goes with it. Um, and on here, let me just... So you've got... Uh, oh, you've got a few of the same images in this one. Um, a few different ones as well. Uh, this one in particular is really uh, fine liner-ish, I would imagine. Um then you've got this quite simplistic one, which is a bit mosaic-ish. Uh, but again, you know, you've got something for everybody with all these different ones. I like this one. Uh, and I like that one. So, you know, there's, plen there's plenty of uh, choice in these books. And then you've got another test your colour page there. 
So I'm quite happy with those two guys. Uh, oh, we're back to 101, guys. Thanks very much. Uh, and then the Equinox book. Uh, this is a beautiful book. This is by Stephen Barnwell. Again, uh, it's not majorly expensive. Uh, it's quite a thick book, as you can see there. Um, it says, enter the world of Equinox, 52 uh, dazzling illustrations that will take you on a fantastic journey into a storybook fantasy land filled with your wonder and mystery. So you've got a couple of examples of colored pages there, uh, whereby you've got the tree at the top. Uh, move that down a bit. You've got the tree at the top, and then its roots are amongst some really uh, weird moon and clockwork kind of uh, stuff there. And then you've got a, a baby dragon here um, lighting uh, a cupcake uh, with its fire breathing skills. Um, so the book itself, uh, that's the front cover, uh, gorgeous page to colour. It's dedicated to his dad, uh, which I found rather nice and poignant. Uh, the, the book is split into four sections and these four sections are, um, seasons. So you've got summer, you've got, sorry, you've got spring, summer, autumn and winter. So the spring one starts with uh, the flying elephant and the word spring. And I think, oh no, that made me not a daffodil, but it, it, it's certainly a spring flower. And then we've got this kind of uh, start off. We've got this uh, fantasy house. Uh, and then you've got these flying elephants. You have all this underwater stuff. Then you've got this snail that's carrying a house or a mansion on its back. Uh, you've got this really, uh, it's almost mosaic, but you've got this really profound artwork where it's it's blocked, it's blocky. So you've got all that sky and stars and moon, and then you've got the toadstools, which aren't, uh, they're more free-flowing free, free uh, artwork at the bottom. It's, it's quite nice out of this one. Uh, not as good as the last one, but it's it's quite nice. Um, then you've got a similar kind of skyline and then a load of crystals. So again, guys, um, you know, this one, markers, um, felt tips, uh, crayons, pencils. You could use practically anything on it because they've been considerate enough to, um, you know, to make it, single sided then we're going to summer you've got pigs flying now instead of elephants uh you've got i think that's a daisy i'm not or a sunflower i'm not too sure which and then it's just nice little images guys it's a lovely book uh and it goes on for absolute eternity it really does there's loads and loads in here um so looking forward to getting something done in that there's a lot with uh, candles and fire in this one. Uh, so obviously that's one of the reasons why I bought it, plus the sun uh, and the stars and that kind of thing. So any of those would suffice as well. Yeah, is it a sunflower, Sean? Thank you. Uh, I'll just catch up with chat, chat a minute, guys. I need to ask Belinda and she does some awesome colouring and she's actually good. Mm. Okay, guys, so uh, the next three I'd like to mention to you are um, three of Deborah Muller's new books. I don't usually get Deborah Muller books, um, uh, but, but these are a bit different to her previous books. These are um, a different kind of paper. But as you can see, uh, if you like um, hair and portraits, and obviously all these skin sets that I've got recently would uh, would be used in these. Um, so, of course, you've got plenty of hair and faces to do. That one's adorned. Then we have Fantasy Queens. Uh This one here, uh, it's got lots of cute uh, images in, uh, and a lot of headwear and headdresses, um, obviously with the book being called Crowned. 
Uh, we have feathers coming into play, jewels, uh, crystals. Um, we have actual uh, animals or taxidermist kind of animals. So there's there's a wide variation in it, but if you like colouring, um, you know, uh, this kind of stuff, this would be excellent. So that's that one. And then, of course, we have mermaid hair, which is the last one. Uh, this is very similar, but obviously it's got an aquatic feel to it. It's got the... Um, the fish, the shells, um, all that kind of stuff, starfish, oysters. So you've got plenty of stuff there. It's just another version of the previous books. So I want to show you them. Uh, obviously, the, these are um, something that we can... Oh, hello, DD. Oh, thanks for joining us, DD, love. Yeah, they are good books, aren't they, Dee Dee? I, um, I had you in mind with a couple of them. I mentioned them on, I mentioned you on my last stream. Uh, I hope you managed to catch that, because uh, there were a couple in there that I thought you'd like, Dee Dee. Um, this one, the last, the last book I'm showing, guys, is the uh, storybook Darlings by Katie, Kelly Horton. Um this actually includes a skin tone sheet, which is why I've got it, which fits in with all the small packs that I've got to show you. Uh, thank you, Dee Dee. Appreciate your uh, participation. Thank you. Um, it actually includes a skin tone sheet, guys. So I'll just bear with us. Let's do the images first. So you've got these really cute images. Um, which are based on stories, obviously, uh, you know, fairy tale stories. So you've got Aladdin, Cinderella. I don't know. Uh, you've got, I don't know. So I'm not going. I'm not going to embarrass myself to uh, to try and name all the, the fairy tales because I don't know them. Obviously, that's Robin Hood. Um, but what it does have is plenty of variation in in um, in skin and hair. It also has a, a lot of good stuff around the image, which allows you to um, you know what you're going to be coloring in today because I wrote this one. This one here. Um, I've got some swatches to do, and then we'll see where we are. I might even color in the um, Equinox book or something like that. Oh, sorry, the Dover, the Dover book. But we'll see. Um, so yeah, uh, this this is uh, so many varied different images. Uh, Rapunzel, I think that one. Um, I'm not sure what that one is, but she's she's a devil anyway. Um, and then, oh, it tells you what they all are. So I do apologise about that. So they've all got names: Bella, Pocahontas, Alice, uh, Maleficent. Punzel, Ursula, Aurora. And then you've got the skin tone practice sheets here. So you can you could write on the back what you've used, cut it out. Um oh thanks, uh, Vin. Cut it on, cut it out. Do your skin tones, whatever blend you've you're happy with, just have it as reference next to you. You could even laminate it, couldn't you? Uh, I know you do, Sky. Then you have a swatch index as well. Well, I've uh, just got Vin Pip on the stream. I don't know if people remember the massive confusion with my giveaway for my 2,000 uh, subscribers last week for the full set of, um, what were they now? Full set of the uh, Black Widows. Um, I, I later found out that uh, she actually did uh, post the correct number, and she did post it first. Um, so... Um, between me and a colleague, uh, we've managed to get the prizes both for Vin and for Joan. So they're going to be on the way pretty shortly. Um, so now that nobody's lost out. So I just wanted to make you all aware of that before, you know, before somebody said that she actually did post it. Because we found out after she did, but it just weren't showing at the time. 
um it really weren't showing on the screen i couldn't see it and um not a problem Vin. Uh, you were you were the worthy winner but of course i've already promised joan uh that, that set so it, it's 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 only right that we uh, we send two sets out really um hello linda so anyway that's that's that guys so i'm just going to move on to um to start swatching um the as part of the swatch watch sundays because this is part of what we're doing at the moment we're seeking out um yeah it was the only way i could think that we, which were fair uh i i haven't sent them yet anita but through experience of sending stuff um abroad uh it's it's i, I know you would have done john that's why i didn't want to mention it to you uh, but sending stuff abroad and eat it's it's not it's it's not cheap but then again you know uh you want a really you you do want a really good um postal service otherwise you know if you try and get it on the cheap somewhere you're going to lose the package so i think it's important that you uh you know go through the royal mail certainly from england anyway or the uk I should have said the royal mail are, are really good and um you know it's very rare that you get anything going missing really uh i have had a couple of instances but nothing dramatic um i mean when, when i sent nick and tina stuff to canada i think it was about 15 pounds to just to send you know one book or maybe two books and a little um a little pen or a little rubber um but i know it, I, the thing is you know it's going to get there um yeah it can do a need to like i say it just depends who wins it but th this is one of the reasons why i don't want to isolate the international viewers that come on here because i have a lot of international people that subscribe to my channel so it's pointless me um you know it, it, it's really pointless me trying to um just say oh, i speak uk only because it's not fair uh, oh thank you shara Oh, Gary, you're going to make me cry in a minute. Thank you, guys. Uh, it's been rough lately. Uh, there's a lot of rumours being spread about about me. None of them are true. We've already proved most of it. Um, so thank you. I appreciate your um, your support. So I appreciate it, Gary. Thank you. Um, so just before we move on, uh, I'm showing you this uh, swatch book because this is the one that I've been using nearly every week. Uh, and I have put a link to it because I usually get asked, uh, you know, by people who, who say, oh, which one is that? It's a really good one. It's the one where you can put the collection name at the top. You do have uh, the name of the pencil if it's got a colour name. You've got the swatch bracket. You've got room for dates and hashtags and everything. And then notes on the reverse side. So it's single sided at all. Oh, thanks, guys. Uh, Thank you, John and, and everybody. I, I'm really not here to get that kind of, uh, do you buy your giveaway prizes? Uh, I've had some donated, Vera, uh, and I, I buy some as well. It just depends on the, uh, it depends on the time of the competition, I guess. Uh, time. Uh, I'm actually glad I've, uh, <laughs> Thanks, Donna. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's it's one of them, Beth. Uh, yeah, they, you know, they think they've got a reason. They haven't. And uh, I'm just constantly blanking them, but they just don't let it lie. So, of course, now it's getting to the point where they've actually invaded my, my own time and, and, and space to try and get a rise out of me. But it's not happening, so we'll just carry on as we have been. So, uh, anyway, I, don't, I really don't want to talk about that anymore. So, um, yeah, I agree with that, Sean, 100%. Uh, thank you. Hello, Charlotte. Oh, so nice of you to join us. Uh, so, what I'm going to do, guys, is... Um, where did we do last week? So we did these last week, which which were the the Tom Twitch, the Touch Twin skin markers. Really, really like those colours. Um, then we did 
uh, that one was a mistake. Then we did the fine color 12 skin set, which are on here, uh, which we had the color names for. Then we did the uh, the Spectrum No Arse Illustrator pens. Then we did the Windsor Newton brush markers. Then we did, we have to bow down to these guys, but then we did the Touch Pastels, the 12 set. Look at them. I mean, they're absolutely stunning, those colours. And I absolutely adore those markers. So we're just going to move on uh, in the same theme while we have a look at a bit of stuff. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is the small set of landscape, which is this one here. This is the Aqua by Spectrum Noir. These are the water-based markers, similar to the illustration, but they're not alcohol. Um, and this is the landscape range, which has six colours in there, which I'm going to show you on here. We'll swatch them out. Okay. So um, they're a different colour to the other ones. They're, they're very uh, aqua blue, believe it or not. Um, so let me just put them there, first of all, um, and get a decent pen. And then we can um, start swatching them out. So these are the, uh, the aqua by Spectrum Noir. And the first uh, colour we have is Forest, so we'll put that in there. And see how we get on with these, with them being water-based. Now, it's got a dual nib, so we have a fine line of point there, as you can see, which is about a 0.4, I think. Then we have the, the brush nib on this side. So that's the one I'll be using. Um, so here we go. These are very, very juicy guys, extremely juicy. So we'll have to see how those dry. Um, but that's the forest color, which is more uh, a deep aqua, I would say, uh, looking at it from here, um, of the black bell spectrum. Yeah, I'm. I, I, I really like this. This is obviously the first one I've used. Um, so I can't, you know, make a mistake. This is Ocean Green, guys, the next one. So let's just put that in first. So we have Ocean Green. And I get the brush tip out. And then they're quite a chunky marker, guys, for your information as well. Uh, the, the Hexagon. So it's like holding a 50 pence piece. Um, but they, they, they are nice. Uh, and like I said, they, they, are, they are very juicy. Uh, the next one is a bright meadow colour. Um, so bright. Oh, that's a grey pen I've just picked up. Never mind. It'll do for one. So, yeah, Bright Meadow. Uh, get the brush out. That's a lovely green, is that? As I said, guys, these are the landscape set. So, you know, um, we are kind of talking about... Um, markers that are used for that kind of illustration uh, so they will be limited in the palette this is a bark color which is a kind of it is a brown eventually uh, but you can see a hint of grey in that. 
Um, and then we have sandstone. Yeah, the brush tips, Melinda, and then on the other side, it's a really fine, um, uh, a fine, uh, fine liner tip, and it's probably about 0 0.4, 0 0.3 mil. So the sandstone guys blends very well with the bark, by the way. So that's a lovely color. That is, uh, it's like a mid beige. It's what you would. You know, you would really call that sandstone, I guess. Uh, by Vera. Uh, the next one we have is Lake Blue. That's 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 uh, that's a very denimy kind of color, uh, and it's so nice. Um, I really do like that color. That's lovely, that lake blue color. And that's it, guys. That's them done. Uh, so these are the marker uh, barrels. Get it the right way around. Uh, you've got the fine liner, which looks like this. Oops which is a kind of really, really fine point. And then we have the brushes on the other end, which kind of taper off to a fine point. The uh, first impressions are very juicy, difficult to control in a small space. So I, I you know, I wouldn't be, um, I wouldn't be adverse to, um... hello, Rubin. That's Robin, Robin Broderick. So how are you doing? And thanks for your message earlier. So I'm gonna I'm gonna slap these five uh, six in here, which is a mixed bag of small sets. These now, and I'm sure uh, that when we decide what we're gonna buy for the channel, that we we've got a good selection to pick from. Uh, which is the aim really today? It's to buy Skyloft. It's to try and find a marker set that's suitable, uh, not only for the channel but for the person who's using it. People, people are you know they aren't all alike. Uh, some some people like brush markers. Some people like fine tips. Some people like nylon tips. So you're never going to get. Um, you're never going to get just one particular pen that everybody loves, apart from Copics, of course. Uh, so moving on from that one, is I'm very excited to show you these. So these are uh, the Tombow ABTs. Now, I love these pens. These have also got two tips. They've got the fine tip on one end and the flex flexible brush on the other. Uh, I really do love the brushes. Uh, this comes in an 18 pack and it's all pastel colors. So wh what we can do with this is we can measure up against the the touch markers, um, the Shin Hen touch markers. That's the original ones. We can compare the two pastel sets together and, um, and see where we're kind of going as far as quality and um, comparison is concerned. Uh, let me just try and get this off, guys. What a sec. Damn nuisance. I just have, and I've got something stuck in them. <laughs> okay, so these are the Tombow ABT 18 dual brush pens, all pastel colours. 
So hopefully these will uh, surpass what we've just seen. So the Tombow ABT pastels. 18 count. You can't beat Tombows, I love them. You can, but you know what I mean. So they come in this pretty box, like this, where the, the lid comes off to reveal all these beautiful pastel colours. Have you got the full set, Mia? Oh, good for you. They're lovely, aren't they? I've been thinking about it myself, but uh, I, I, I think I prefer the touch ones out of the two as you know, as a preference, but the, the, there's no denying that these are really, really good. The thing I like about these as well is that they're long. They're extremely long, and I've got big hands, so it's not like holding a, a small pen or anything. Uh, I don't think there are any colour names on these. So, we will see. What's going on with you? Uh, I, 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 to be honest, I don't know. I've been streaming on a Sunday at that time for ages, and then I knew that um, April was streaming at the same time. But when I asked to be put on the uh, on the schedule, nothing was ever said. So three months down the line, I get this idiot coming on my stream and um, you know trying to embarrass me about streaming over the top of somebody. Um, but that wasn't the case at all. I, I, you know, I just carried on as normal. Um, and then, of course, uh, with today an exception, I, I, I didn't want to stream at the same time. But not only that, I had an opportunity to uh, to watch the football and then stream later. So, you know, I've, I've avoided any conflict whatsoever. Uh, I just can't understand what people's problem is. Um, I, you know, I spoke to her, April about it and she sent me a message saying that she was embarrassed about that outbreak and that she, um, you know, she, she, she hadn't said anything. So anyway, we, we, we digress. So this one is the, the greeny color number two. I'll put I'll put the numbers in and then at least we can identify them later. Yeah, it's difficult. There's so many channels now, Sky, um, that have, have just come up, you know, that, you know, you, even the people who have been doing it a while, you've... you've... Oh. <laughs> Shara. Uh, he, even the people who have been doing it a while are going to struggle now because there are so many people trying to get on in so little time. So, you know... Luckily for me, I ain't got that much availability, so it don't really bother me, uh, you know. It is their problem. Uh, like I say, I, I I can't really commit to anything other than a Sunday anyway because I work six days a week, majority of the time. So, you know, as long as I, as long as I have somewhere on a Sunday to go, whether it's any time, I don't really care because um, I know that you lot will still join me anyway. So, okay, uh, this one is number 243. This is how the, now nice, because they're so long, I can hold it further back and be more accurate with it. That's lovely. Let's give it a bit more in the center. It's almost a mint, mint green is that, isn't it?
Yeah, I, I do, Becky, as well. And and if I had a stream, you see, I couldn't win today. The, the, the lady that came on stream that was causing fuss said, well, I thought you didn't mind streaming other people, meaning that I purposely have streamed over Sky, and why didn't I stream over me? But why am I going to stream over me? I've got no, I've got no need to when there's a gap further down the line and it fits me better. Uh, so, you know, again, it's just, it's just trouble causing idiots. So number eight, eight, seven, three is next. Uh, this looks to be, I'm in love with these, by the way. And yes, Sean, I saw you, I saw your, <laughs> I saw you, um, they will, Melinda. They will, absolutely right. You know, uh, people have favourites. But I thought you... I need to... Uh, anyway, it don't matter. Uh, you, you, th you started at 10 EST last week. I don't know what that is. Um, I started on my normal time last week, Anita, which, which is... Which is um, 3 p.m. UK time. But since then, I've given up my first hour and given it to Susie so she can do two till four. So I've now I've now come up and my, my time's now are 4 p.m. till 7 p.m. UK time. And then at 7 p.m., Christine comes on. So that's why I didn't stream early on today. Uh, I, I do as well, Lisa. Uh, Thank you, Dee Dee. I really appreciate it. I've had naught but flack for it, and it's really pissing me off. Uh, but like I've said to people, uh, you know, the people that who who are, who are close to me, I'm I'm not going to let it affect me because if I do, they'll just you know they'll just carry on and on and on. Uh, and thanks for that, Dee Dee. I really appreciate you uh, saying that. So I've I've delayed it today, guys, so that I aren't streaming over over anybody else. Uh, uh, you know, well that's it, either. Uh and and you know that that's what they're after because I've ignored them for so long. They're now encroaching on my territory to try and get a rise out of me, but it's it's still not going to work, unfortunately, because wherever I go, you hundred odd people are going to follow me. So. As far as I'm concerned, they can just carry on what they're doing. Anyway, I really am not going to mention it again, so please, uh, let's leave it, guys. Uh, leave it in the trash where it belongs, or the butter, one of the two. So this one, guys, is 192. This comes across as a bit of an olive colour by the cap. Whether it's going to be in, um, in paper, we shall soon see. So going from the top left-hand corner... Uh, it is a khaki green, yeah. It's a very uh, olivey green. And how lovely is that? They do. They, they look. They, they're really nice to to use, uh, Nana. Uh, in um, don't worry about it, Anita. I, I didn't stream over anybody, and I, I still won't be doing. I've streamed for approximately nine years and you've seen it all. I bet you have, Dee Dee. I bet you have, my darling. And I could do with a chat if you ever get the spare five minutes. Uh, let me just try and keep in tone with these guys. Uh, so this one is 553, uh, which is looks a bit violet or lavender colour. Yeah, it's uh, it's a very lavender cum. Um, purple. Thanks, Dee Dee. Uh, the next one, guys, is 673. This is a more pinky purple than the last one. Uh, so I hope we can sort of see the difference in these. I hope they're not too similar. don't think they will be. Oh, that's another lovely colour. If 
Thanks, Cheshire. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I agree. Thanks, Shannon. Uh, this is 912. Of course, these probably mean a lot more to me than they do me at the moment. These numbers, that is. Uh, how how are they? Uh, how are they? How are they pinned out, uh, Mia? Do you have like a chart for them, or is it just um, like a big swatch sheet that you've got the full set? That's lovely. That is. That's kind of a dark peachy colour. Uh, it's lovely though. And then if we move down to number 990. I shadow babe. Dave, have you tried? Uh, I have uh, DD, yeah. Uh, I've only got a few of them though. Oh, thank you, Sky. Um, thanks for dropping in and I hope you uh, have a good evening. Um, these are water-based ink, um, Shara, the, the, the brush ink, sorry, the brush tips, but water-based. So this is 990. Yeah, quite like them, uh, Dee Dee. Which are your favourites? Oh, this is beautiful, guys. This is a very kind of, um, pale beige, almost, uh, pebble colour. Brilliant for skin tones, that one. As soon as... <laughs> They're all right, Dee Dee. These, these are something special, though, uh, as you're probably aware. These are lovely. <coughs> I'd recommend these over them, uh, Dee Dee, any day. Uh, this is 772. Uh, it looks an interesting colour. And uh, almost pinky, I would say. Yeah, but it's a, it's a muted pink. So that's a lovely colour. Just get that little bit in, make sure we don't miss it. So that's nice as well, guys. Then we have uh, another pinky colour, which is 723. All oh, right, thanks, Melinda. Uh, and they have a colour tracker, do they? Oh, that's excellent. This is probably the most pinky pink that they have, they've got, but it's nice. Then we might as well put the other pink in that's here, which is 761. Again, that's nice. That's almost a salmon colour kind of pink. Uh, so now 603. Again, lovely colour. Uh, six two three. Thanks, Dee Dee. Six two three. So here we've got a lovely color of purple again. These are really magnificent colors, guys. Uh, this one is N sixty. So we've kind of changed with that one. N60. How many more swatches? What for this box? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And another six to go for this box. Then I've got some more to do.
this is N95. The water base, Victoria, uh, the water brush. So they're quite nice to you. Uh, I'll just show you up there if you can see. Yeah, it does say water based. Very much, uh, Dee Dee. I appreciate that. It seems like uh, we have another one hell bent on trying to uh, cause a bit of bother. Don't know why. Oh well, we we uh, we just move past it, don't we, guys? Uh, zero six two now. So this is a yellow. And then we have 451, which is a pale blue. And then we have 452, which is another blue. Yeah, that is a good laugh, isn't it, Shara? And this is uh, 245. So that's them done, guys. As you can see, uh, I think it's fair to say that they're as good as the uh, colour-wise. I think they're as good as the um, the touch markers. Uh, a, a, another kind of lovely um, array of colours for us to consider uh, when we. Um, the good thing about swatching small sets, what what I'm kind of trying to do at the moment, is that I'm investing the channel to buy full sets of markers uh, I don't want to buy the wrong ones uh, so what I would rather do is is obviously get some small sets uh, swatch them out and see how I like them see how they fit with my hand and that kind of thing um, you know and then give you the opportunity to have a look at them as well as me and then eventually you know there'll be one that kind of sticks out more than the other which I'm hoping will be able to uh, uh, kind of point me in the direction of um, you know which kind of markers to buy in the end because when you invest in a large set of markers you know it's uh, it's expensive uh, so I don't want to buy the wrong ones uh, I did start with the Copic Chows um, but they are a bit small for my hand and I would much prefer a longer marker so uh, anyway uh, with that in mind guys um, uh, I want to show you uh, we did have a lot of fun doing that didn't we Christine I um, <laughs> I, I think I'm just going to leave it there now guys um, I've been on there an hour and 40 minutes uh, an hour and 32 minutes uh, I'll see you all on uh, <clears throat> on Tuesday, and um, we can obviously, um, you know, take it a bit further then, and maybe do some um, maybe do some colouring. Uh, but uh, like I said, I just wanted to show you uh, the books and the swatches because it's part of the hashtag for the for the the series that we have here, which is uh, Swatch Watch Sunday, and. Um, so i hope you've all enjoyed it guys uh hi joan uh 
Yeah, I hope so, uh, Sean, and thank you, Joyce. Um, thanks, Cheshire. Thanks, Dee Dee. I really appreciate your support. Thank you, Rosemary uh, and Tracy and Jane and Barbara and uh, Lisa and Heather. Uh, thank you, Kim T. Thanks to all my mods that's uh, kept the stream going. Um, uh, thank you, Becky and uh, Michelle and Melinda. Thank you very much indeed again, Melinda. Nana more. thank you for your support. And Joey and Kenny and Christine and uh, Vin. Uh, wow, uh, I can't keep going so quick, guys. Uh, Lisa, Pamela, Louise, Sean, um, Beth, uh, Phoenix, Victoria, um, Heather, Charlotte, Anne, uh thank you for saying i'm the business I, I i think you are too uh yeah i hope so crystal i'll be here tuesday night at 9 p.m um and thank you dd uh thanks nike thanks everybody i'll uh, i'll catch you all later guys uh thank you very much thanks for joining bye